bumping, 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 dance floor is bumping, dance floor is bumping, 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 dance floor is bumping, 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 dance floor is bumping, dance floor is bumping, dance floor is bumping, bumping, dance floor is bumping, rocking in the club, catch me on an elephant. Hey, what's up? It's Coco and Breezy. And today we're getting interviewed at Movie Star News. This is where we get our inspiration with all the amazing old school posters and like the crazy art and you know the vintage movie posters. So come hang out with us. Pow! Um, fashion has been good. Um, this season we actually didn't do a show. It's our first show or our first time out of the three seasons that we've been in New York that we didn't show, but we are um, working on a couple collaborations mm -hmm. that are coming out in the spring. So that's why we want to like, you know, have people like kind of in like question of what we're up to. But we did get to be part of Fashion Week. We um, were part of a show with a designer named Norso Ferrari. Okay. And she showed in the tent for the Mercedes in Fashion Week in um, the Lincoln Center. And we were actually modeling in her show. Yeah. So yeah. that was amazing because it's still like, she lets wear our sunglasses and our accessories. And her whole style, it was like her first launch in Mercedes and Fashion Week. So having us as designers being part of it was just an amazing experience. And you did show last in, in Fall Fashion Week, correct? Correct. Yes, you showed in last fa Fall Fashion Week. Yeah, I thought so. And, and I guess in Soho. And how was that? Um, we actually showed um, around like the, what area? Like 18th Street area. Mm -hmm. But it was, it was a great turnout. We showed our new rainy day sunglasses, which is awesome because we started off with handcrafted studded sunglasses. And now we're expanding our product line, and we're expanding our brand. And so our new rainy day sunglasses that we showed last season are manufactured, and it's a different style. It's more of a um, simplicity, but still with a little bit of edge that still gives you that cocoa and breezy feel. Um, for our rainy day sunglasses, we're working on a campaign with um, Megan Muir Foundation, and for stop bullying. Breezy and I were bullied when we were younger, so we thought we would we want to like team up and you know, get to know the Megan Muir Foundation because her story is, is very crazy. And, like, people don't understand how much, like, bullying affects people nowadays. A lot of teenagers and kids are committing suicide at a young age. So we thought it would be great for us to team up with the foundation because Breezy and I, we were bullied when we were younger, but since we had each other, we never had, like, suicidal thoughts ever. But we want to, like, you know, we want to show an example for those kids and for those teenagers that are going through things that we went through. For the inspiration, for each collection, I should say that um, for people who don't know us, when we create a collection, we start off with like, a lot of all of our collections have a storyline, because like when we create pieces, we want to create a storyline so that people can can get a feel of our design. And so, um, this the Rainy Days collection was kind of a follow-up from our wearable art collection with the storyline, and the sunglasses is like the shield of protection, and that represents the umbrella and our um, tears represent the rain. And so we block ourselves away from creating eye contact with people. With when we, when we have sunglasses on, we feel that we block away the stares, we block away what people think of us. And go ahead, Coco, you're going to say that. <laughs> yeah, so pretty much it was just inspired by like an umbrella. It was, it's inspired by our story. Like our first collection that we came out with it's was called right? 2020, yes. Mm -hmm. So the story began with us maybe in the year 2020. And then, you know, the second collection was wearable art. So that led into us visiting a new city called wearable art, and all of our pieces were full in the air, and they were inspired by art. So instead of calling it jewelry, we call it art that you can wear, so wearable art. So that led into rainy days. So, I mean, we're visiting, like, every city in our planet, like our so-called planet, mm -hmm. CMB, and when you guys have our shades on, that's when we welcome you to planet CMB. Oh, but when you have our shades off, you see a bright space which represents the people on Earth. I think it has a lot to do with us having a dance background when we put on our fashion shows, knowing how to put on a whole 100% show. Mm -hmm. And so even though I'm not having my models dance down the runway, I know how to put a show together. And so with our fashion shows, we make it very, like, not animated, we make it a full 100% show, not just models walking down the, the aisle, the music. We're really big on, like, having music to, like, our, when music goes on our website, when music goes with our collection, and that's kind of like with our dance background, we're really, like, super into music, and I, I didn't and think that. And it's all about, you know, when you dance to music, you have to feel the emotion, 
to us with our collections, with our shows. We have the music, you can feel the emotion. With our last show that we had last season, we actually had a point ballet dancer that started off the show before the models walked down the runway. So it's like we always want to keep, like even though we don't dance anymore, we, we still have that in our heart and our, in our soul. So we're going to like always keep that one little part of dance somehow or get inspiration through that with our fashion. Yeah, and I don't think once you're a dancer, I don't think you can ever really like take yourself out of yeah. it. Yeah. It's kind of always there. We're actually planning, because a lot of people don't know that we dance. Mm -hmm. And so we're planning on doing like a, a YouTube of <laughs> us doing a, some choreography so oh, our new awesome. fans can see like our hidden talent, which is really not hidden talent. <laughs> It was our first passion before it was fashion. Mm -hmm. so. and do you have any like, favorite dancers that you like really like? Or do you go to classes at like BBC? Or we actually or? fully stopped dancing. Oh. Which is like very sad to say. That is sad. But um, it's only because like, you know, right now we're really focused on our career as like designers. At the end of the day, since dance is stuck in our heart, it's still going to be used for inspiration with our business and with our, our other passions. Mm -hmm. But eventually we'll fi find time to include like our fashion and dance and really actually like have like the real dance part and the real fashion like put together. Maybe we'll see a couple of really fashion films with us doing some choreography. <laughs> um, actually, I, I've, all, I've gotten inspired to like if we do, or when we do create a ready to wear line, it would be like a, um, a high end mixed with like cut and sew, mixed with like different shapes of like a, a sportswear that could be used for dancing. And also one of our mentors, John Charles de Casabajet, He's a designer from France, and he told us that like, that he told us like when you guys design, you guys should do something that has to do with like some type of. He did the best selling thing as far as like the aesthetic would be awesome to do like a sportswear type of a feel, but still like a ready to wear line. And so I mean I think it would be awesome to, cause I mean we were dancers and we know like what stuff feels comfortable, but why not create like dancing dance clothes along with fashion so you can be you can wear it for dancers you can wear it as an everyday outfit yeah and i think a lot of um even in choreography and even in um like what's being seen nowadays it's what you would wear to dance is what you'd wear on the street too oh, yeah, it's totally. so versatile and so i think that's like where the industry is going um but a little bit more about your wearable art i know one of my favorite pieces was um I think it's called the Art Mania bracelet, oh, yeah, I love and it's, it. um, it's the one in yellow, mm -hmm. but I don't think you guys have it on the way. I was looking for it a couple days ago, and I don't think you have it anymore in there, but can you talk a little bit about, um, like, you know, what you did to go about creating that, what, you know, some inspiration behind that? Yep. Well, Art Mania was actually a building it's a, that's in our planet, and um, the way that the, the building is shaped, we created it with, like, a latex rubber, and it's shaped almost like a with tubing that's shaped into, like, circles. And so it's, it's a structure of a building in our planet, and like with the way that the um, that the gold we bent the gold um, metal on there just to give it some shape, but and it it all glows in black light, and so that that's a light, and there's no light or sun in our planet, and so when you turn the lights off, you see like a, a black a black sky, it's like mm -hmm. you know how like black light has that purplish feel to it, but then you see like the art mania that's yellow or the one that's pink, it, it lights up. And so the way that we got inspired by that is, even if you put the Armenia piece in the middle of your table, it looks like a piece of art. It's totally a piece of art. I wouldn't call it a bracelet. I'll call it armwear, or I would call it a piece of art that can be worn in your arm. The wearable art is how we mm -hmm. got inspired by that. That like, they're so organic. Mm -hmm. Very organic. The chain is like hanging down, and it's like the studs are like you can tell I like, took them off a belt, but hot mess. yeah, it's a beautiful <laughs> hot mess. But it's just amazing to show that like. You know, you have to start from somewhere, but when you get your, your mind, your concept piece out there, and you, you actually see, like, the real item, like, you know, later on, it's just, like, a great feeling. And it's all about just progressing, and, and quality is the key. We're all about quality mm -hmm. and neatness. Oh, so, as everyone knows, that people just know as far as sunglasses, but we are expanding our product line, and we're doing the collaboration with Spray Ground, so I'm very, very excited about that because we're um, doing a backpack with them. Mm -hmm. We also we designed a backpack and also a sunglass case mm -hmm. that um, that own, that you can hold two pairs of sunglasses in it. And it's crazy how we met because I would say about a month ago, I was hanging out with a friend and I seen him with a spray gown bag. I'm like, where do you get this bag from? I'm seeing everybody with these like crazy backpacks and wondering who this designer is. 
And then finally we were at a trade show and we walked past and then Blue Shoes like came and talked to us and I'm like, Oh man, this is Spray Ground. This is the guy that like makes the bag that everyone's talking about and then finally we got like introduced and we all like vibed out because you know, just like you know you can see someone and just see that like, okay, I know we have ideas for each other. So finally we met, we came up with an amazing design mm -hmm. and we're gonna be like the first launch of the actually like women's collection of bags. Oh wow. That's really exciting too. And yeah, what um do you have any ideas already or do you Yeah, any? um the way we I don't really like spill the beans like mm -hmm. what the design is, but we got a really dope inspiration mm -hmm. and that me and Coco or Coco and I um came across we presented like like three different ideas and we all agreed with one one of the ideas and we all just like kind of vibed out to it. So just think think X ray. X ray, okay. X ray and we're very inspired by like C S I forensic science. Okay. So it's gonna be amazing. Um, we actually have a jacket coming out. It's like a varsity it's not your traditional varsity jacket, but it's like a it's inspired by a varsity jacket made with Paisley and it, it's really beautiful and we collaborated with a brand called Copy and Paste. They're a new brand that's based in New Jersey, based in the East Coast. And it's for women and men's and it's gonna be exclusive, only a hundred and they're all numbered, so the women have Odd numbers because ladies first, <laughs> and the men have even numbers, and they're all numbered on the inside of the pocket. So we're super excited about that. And also, a lot of people don't know, we've been working on like producing and directing fashion films. So oh, we I recently just, just did a project with um, it's called SAS, and mm -hmm. we haven't launched it yet, but it's with um, the model Sweetie E. Banks, and the film is pretty awesome. It's it's very inspired by we got inspired by like her how she is every time she's like one of our mentors. And every time we hang out with her, she's always, whatever outfit she has on, she gives you a different personality with it. Mm -hmm. So you're just seeing different personalities of being sass. And sass to Salida is like her new like word for swag. Mm -hmm. So it's like the girl, girls are like sass. Yeah, and it's, super, <laughs> it's super awesome because our friend Davey, he has a, um, a film company, like a production company called Ella Film. And we kind of partnered up with him. And it's, it's really cool because he's a very like successful like director. But he let me and Coco, like he put his pride down and let me, Coco and I, direct the film and produce the film. And he did all the camera work and the editing. So we came, we collaborated together with that project. And it turned out very beautiful. So we were excited for the world to see that. But it's just cool because we're not only IRA designers, we're just creators. And so we want to get our ideas out with just doing our, our favorite things to do. We also been working on canvases and been painting as well. So just kind of rocking out with being an artist and visionaries that we are. It's very intense and very like cocoa and breezy. It's it's actually a three minute, it's about two minutes, 50 seconds to be exact. And so it's very short. But when you watch it, it's it starts off like, it's, so, it's very moody, it's very, moody. very like sassy, it's very um, trip, it's very trippy. Very okay. trippy, it's kind of dark, yeah. and red light. Oh wow! Yeah, it's super awesome. Cause she um, she came to us and she said, I want red light, animalistic, modern, and grunge. Grunge. And so we kind of, we kind of took all that as far as like we utilized that as far as the styling for it, as far as the way it was edited, as far as like the different sceneries that we have. It was just we kind of collaborated all those ideas together, and. It's super epic, so epic is like the the number one word for it. It's just it's just epic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's very it's very different. Oh, that's I'm really cool. proud of it. No, no, that's, that's really exciting. Um, do you, when is it gonna drop? Or um, well, right now we don't have the exact like date. It should be coming out soon. Soon, okay. But, yeah. We'll probably have a date. Today we're supposed to be talking to her and see like when we're gonna release it. Okay. So we'll we'll update you guys with that. Okay. So to eat on our spare time. Mm -hmm. I actually love to cook. Okay. And we, we recently started eating chicken about six months ago. So we are like pescatarians. I like at home I eat like a vegetarian but when I eat out I eat like seafood. Mm -hmm. I don't cook seafood because I'm not good at it. So we love to go get sushi. Uh -huh. Sushi this is a place called May's Place and it's in St. Mark's and it is like our favorite spot that we're there every other day. Oh wow. It's, yeah. And also our second favorite spot is coffee shop. And coffee shop like a Brazilian shop in, that like uh, Union Square, right? Yes, and that's like one of our. We'll be there for hours. Whenever we go, chilling. We're ch there. Like I have my laptop. I have my notebook. I'm eating in there for like three or four hours, 
It's awesome. Cafe yeah. Asia, Thai food. Um, what else? I don't know, we just love all type of food. We just like trying, trying new things mm -hmm. and everything. Is that, oh, I've seen that on paper magazine, but I didn't see it on Guess the BS. That's pretty fun. Yeah, it was on cool. Guess